Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Share Share. I'm dedicating this week's episode to Girlfriend Day, which is Saturday, August 1st. Girlfriend Day is a special day to really strengthen your relationships with your besties, your partners, or your spouse. Even if your friends aren't in town, luckily we have these devices so that we can do a FaceTime call, send them a text, or an email. But I always suggest getting together with your friends in person to really show them how much you care. If you're looking for some fun ways to celebrate, you can head over to the WVU Creators website Site and check out my summer spa picnic right after you finish watching this video. Now I'm going to show you how you can treat your girls with my simple ways to creating graphic negative space nail art without having to go to a salon. So let's get started. Before we get started, how about some fresh graffiti styles from the back alleys in Toronto as my inspiration? Negative space nail art manicures give you an instant runway feel where your uncolored nail peeps through bold lacquers. I've got three simple ways to get this look for the pros and the newbies. After the tutorial, I'll show you a great DIY gift that you can make for your girlfriends. Here's what you'll need. A mix of contrasting nail colors, scissors, and delicate surface frog tape. I use it for my reno projects, so why not use it on my nails too? It helps to create a nice crisp edge without any residue. First things first, we're going to cut thin strips of tape to create stripes on our nails. You can use the edge of a table to help with this step and secure it to the table. Cut a piece approximately two inches in length. Start to cut thin strips about an eighth of an inch wide. Carefully lift the tape and set the middle of the strip on the edge of the counter. Now you can cut off the top third of the tape which will separate all of the thin strips. I like to space them out so that they're easier to grab when I need them. I always apply a thin base coat before getting started. Make sure the nails are dry and free of any dust. Now it's time to get creative. Take a strip of tape and apply it to the nail on an angle. Wherever the tape is adhered is where you'll have your natural color peeking out. Feel free to change the directions too. The thumb has the largest area so I went with a more detailed pattern. I use a lightly damp cotton pad to help seal the edges of the tape. Let it dry and you're ready for polish. Start with the white polish in the upper half. Then try the mojito mint in the lower half using the lower angled strip as your divider. Don't worry, it's going to look like a total mess. Let the polish dry for about one minute and then remove the tape immediately. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's that easy. Allow to dry completely and add a top coat to finish. Painting your own nails can definitely be a challenge. So I always have nail polish remover and a brush on hand so you can erase any of your mistakes. For anyone that's a beginner, no problem. Just use one piece of tape and place it across the middle of your nail. Polish the top half with white and the lower portion in mojito mint. Take the tape off and use the polish remover and a brush to create a crisp line and you're ready for the runway. Here's a great way to personalize a gift for your special lady. I chose Joe Fresh nail polishes because the bottle is the perfect cylinder shape for our DIY. Start by choosing your girlfriend's favorite color. Take off all the labels. Cut a strip of patterned washi tape around five to six inches long. Attach it to the bottle just below the cap. Grab a nail art pen, or if you don't have one, a Sharpie marker will do the trick. Now you can write a meaningful phrase or what you love most about your girlfriend on the bottle. And there you go, a little graphic nail art session for you and your girls and a bonus DIY gift. And just remember, even the simplest gesture can make a big impact and brighten someone's day. Thanks for watching and make sure to tag me on Instagram as you spread the love on Girlfriend Day. And don't forget to check out my summer videos for WVU creators by clicking the link in the description below. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Simply Share Share. I'll see you next week.